Hi, I'm Dr. Cohen, and the SpinoCath is used basically for reintroducing, administrating the stem cells into the upper nose cavity. And now, this is being used very uh, effectively. You can use either stem cells, some uh, physicians might use lidocaine at 4%, and some patients, some uh, doctors might choose to use exosomes, and, uh, especially because exosomes are much smaller particles, and according to uh, some okay. scientists, <laughs> um, exosomes yeah, can yourself, diffuse yeah. into the brain much more effectively than stem cells, which are larger cell. And SpinoCAP procedure is fairly simple. Basically, uh, it basically it goes in the direction of the upper cavity of the nose. And, and once you reach the spinopalatin nerve, basically the patient will have a reaction that might include uh, irritation, and tearing of the eyes, a slight sensation of discomfort and, and in most cases one or two degrees increase uh, as measured with their uh, temperature strips that are supposed to be placed on here on each side. Uh, this is, could be uh, used um, according to some protocols or so some doctors might use it um, um, this procedure for uh, migraines, um, chronic uh, sinus headaches, uh, or even uh, post-stroke uh, as a way uh, to get those exosomes or stem cells to diffuse up to the brain.